Mark Keenan, partner at Mishcon Private. Um, tell us, what is a digital legacy? Well, you have your digital assets, which could be your bank account or your PayPal account, and then you have your digital presence, which is your YouTube account, your Facebook account, or perhaps a Twitter account. Your digital assets will have a financial value, your digital presence will have an emotional value. You've described it as a new frontier, why? Well, I just think that we have service providers who are based in various jurisdictions. They are looking to protect their own interests. People are simply not reading the terms and conditions which they're signing up to. So they're giving away assets without really knowing what they're giving away iTunes is a good example. People will think, many people will think, that they have a quite valuable music collection. What they in fact have is simply a license to use that music while they're alive. That does not pass to your beneficiaries on your death. So when you're dead, you have to give it all away? Absolutely. No sort of gramophone collections for future generations? Sadly not. Putting digital legacy aside, isn't there a bigger problem? 64% of people in the Mishcon de Rey survey don't even have a will. Well, I'm obviously going to say they should be making a will. Um, there is a real problem with people fo focusing on death, understandably, but the reality is if you don't, it does lead to a, a, more li a greater likelihood of a dispute once, once you've passed away. So if I was to be thinking about today, what can I do, what should I be thinking about to avoid this type of confusion and this type of potential dispute, what would you say are the big things that we could, I could do now? I think the first thing is obviously to make a will. So that, that will make you focus on what assets you actually have, where your digital presence is. Prepare a letter of wishes which sets out what you want to happen on your death in relation to your online presence. We are seeing these disputes about memorialising accounts. Do you want that? Tell your, tell your family, your executors, what, what you want to happen. Keep those records updated. So the letter is not part of the formal will? No, no, because there are some things which you don't own. So your online presence, you may have given it away. For example, the photographs that you share on Facebook, they are no longer yours. So it's only a letter of wishes. And some of these providers will allow you to to, to nominate what you want to happen to them, but it's not, it's, it's, still, it's still a very grey area. So, so what is the, the consequence of dying without a will? Well, the obvious one is that you don't get to say where you want your assets to go. So if you haven't got a will in this country, certain rules apply, the intestacy rules, and that, that dictates where your assets go. It dictates who administers your estate. It also causes delay and delay increases costs.